Hi folks, Wes Penny here. I'm going to be tying a caddis pupa pattern. I'll be using some Textream products. Uh, the, the first product we're using is a Textream power thread in a size small, and this is white. It's a very thin, strong thread. Um, so just start your thread and uh, go down all the way to the bend of your hook. And I'm using a size 12 nymph hook, curved nymph hook. And I've got a 7 64ths bead on there. Uh, I'm going to be tying in an Antron tail. So I'll use a little bit of brown Antron. And we'll just go all the way back down to the bend. And I like to trim it just beyond the curve of the hook. Next material I use is Textream Body Fly in a light brown. Tie that in and again bring it back down to the bend to the antron, and then I'll come back up. Got a bit of a whip finish. So we're just going to build the back half of the fly with this body fly material. It's got a real nice shine to it. Diameter's about the same as thread. So I'm just going to just keep wrapping here and get the nice color. Build that body up a little bit and a little bit more towards the top end just to get some profile. And we'll take it right to about there. I'm going to tie it off. And I'm going to be using some Textream long hair. This is olive color, and this is the medium long hair. So we'll tie in a short length of that right where that body fly, the brown body fly, ended. And then the next material I'm going to be using is called Stretch Magic. So Stretch Magic is a stretchy material, um, normally used for beading. This is clear, and you can see it's quite stretchy. One of the little tricks with this material is to take a lighter and heat the end of it and give it a pull. And it'll pigtail or flatten on you, and that'll give you a nice um, flat, thin piece of material to tie in. We'll just hook that right in there and catch it, wrap it all the way up. I'm just going to build this up a little bit so it's nice and smooth and even with the rest of the body. Then I'll take a green Sharpie and I'm going to color the white thread. One of the advantages of using white thread is you can Kind of custom color your fly. Okay. So I'll take the stretch magic and we'll start it without pulling it too tight. We want the, the wraps to be fairly loose. Close together but not super tight and we'll get Close to the bead. Now we'll say right about there, I think. And we'll just tie it off. And we don't have to tie this in super tight because there's no tension stretch on it. 
so it um, it's not gonna not gonna unravel on you. Get that tied in. Cut it off. Now we'll take the long hair and get all the fibers kind of pointing one way. And then we'll wrap it around just on the back side of the stretch. And then we'll go on to the first rib and give it a pull down so it goes right in between the ribs of the stretch material. And then we'll skip a rib and go into the next one, pull it down. Bring those fibers back. And then we'll do one more into the last rib and pull it down. And then you can bring it back behind the bead and tie it off. Clean off that excess piece. Put all those fibers back. And I'll go back and I'll wrap my thread in between the last or the first two um, ribs of the stretch cord. And that keeps everything away from the head and the bead. Then I'm going to do a little bit of dubbing, so I'll use some wax, and I'm using sorry, L, uh, um, SLF spiky squirrel dubbing, and this is an olive color. I use quite a bit of dubbing. I like to get it in nice and thick, and I'll brush out a lot of the excess, but uh, I like to get it so it mixes into the, the long hair nicely. So we'll just twist that on. Get rid of that. Okay, and we'll move the hair back. So you'll be adding your dubbing kind of into the ribbing this of the stretch cord and then behind the bead and then we'll just whip finish the fly you can take a dubbing brush and brush all that back. And there we have it. So while it looks very scruffy and fluffy, uh, when it's in the water, the, uh, the long hair will float around the body and it kind of sh um, moves and, and shimmers. Uh, it looks like legs, but it gives it kind of a nice, kind of a, you know, a buggy look all around it. And when you strip it, the hairs will flow back and then move and flow back. So it's got a really buggy um, movement and appearance in the water. And I'll show you kind of what it looks like um, when it's wet and give you an idea. So this is a fly I tied earlier, exact same materials, uh, but it's just it's just wet. But it'll give you an idea of kind of what you'll get when um, it's in the water. So you're getting you know the brown back half of the body. Um, there's the green that shows up through the stretch cord, and the the fibers will all flow back. So you got a real nice bug appearance. Thanks for watching.